I think this one will be nice for the neck. Or maybe something a bit more... A bit more not so long and dangly because it would be weird to have strings upwards instead of downwards. So I'll drop this one on here. Rotate it around. And I think I'll leave this part for last and deal with the other rips first. So I want to add some rips up here. Let's see which rip will be nice for that. This one maybe, or this one is a cool rip. This one's also nice. Let's make this one. Small one there. Enter. Control click on it. Control shift I to select the inverse. Brush on black. 100%. Control shift I to select the inverse and X to switch my colors. Black and brush on white now. Painting around the hole. Control D to deselect and take a look at that. I think that's a nice rip there. And depending on the effect you want to make, if you want to make it look like she was attacked by some wolf or something, you could make these long rips, or a few of them, or just make it look like she's a beggar with all kinds of rips because she's too poor to um, buy new clothing. Depends on the effect that you want. Here's another nice rip. I'll drop that next to the other one. Control shift i Brush on black, paint out that hole. And then Control Shift I, brush on white, paint back around that hole. And then with a lower opacity, touch up around it. Now as for this sleeve, I want it to be drastically ripped, so let's find something suitable. This might work. Might work pretty nicely, actually. Enter. And I'm going to shrink it a touch. And also right-click and warp it. Then I'm going to control click on it again. Control shift I. And with my black brush. On 100% opacity. I'm going to paint around. And I'm also going to raise the hardness so I don't have any soft edges there. Make it soft again. And then paint in these holes too. At a bit of a less opac at, at a lower opacity. Control Shift I, change to white, and paint back a bit. Something like that. Not too bad. And then I'm going to drag this bunch of holes over. And start with around here, with my brush set to around opacity 19. I forgot to select the inverse. Control shift i And now back to white. And fix it up a bit. I'll select it again, Control shift i to select the inverse, and then using black I'm going to paint again over some of those distinct holes. And I think I again painted in the wrong, yes I painted again on the wrong thing. 
Control Shift Invert. And then here I've loaded in another image and I'm trying to get some of those hairy tone edges here. So I'm clicking to enter, now control clicking on this and using my white brush to paint in these flared edges. Frail, frail, fl whatever it's called. <laughs> Frailed edges. Control shift invert. Switch to black. And that looks a bit better. And then I'll get rid of this one here, it's sticking out too much. And I think I'm going to transform this, flip horizontally, and use something similar on the other side. So let's see what this will look like. I'm going to hide the background and then go File, Save As, PNG. We can overwrite it, OK. And then in Marvelous, we can just right click and say Refresh Textures. And there we have the new texture. It doesn't quite fit, so I'm going to change the dress a bit to fit the texture. Now the back of course needs a different texture altogether. You can't have the same thing like the front, it's not going to look good. So I'm going to copy the fabric and then drag and drop that on the back. If you have any gaps between the texture and the end of the clothing, then you'll see this gap in the sewing, which doesn't look nice. So you have to make sure that the texture reaches the very end. Here it's not reaching the end quite. And there you see now it's not a problem. On the top, on the bottom, there's still somewhere here where it's not quite reaching the end. And now you can see it's joining up nicely. Now this sleeve I think should go up a bit more dramatic tears and the back of course we have to texture differently but you can see already how nice it looks with all these holes that we can see through to our body and the torn edges. Now I want to transform this edge here to go up a bit and down but I don't mind the ripped edge effect so I don't need to redo that. All I'm going to do is alt click on the mask then zoom in and then take my lasso tool and make a selection here then do control T right click and warp and then we can 
warp this. Something like that, maybe. Just make sure this edge is not coming out of, this, of the sleeve silhouette and fix this up a bit. It's not bad if we have even extra material sticking out the sides, even more than our pattern, so that we don't need to take it in, take the pattern in a bit, and we don't see those transparency parts around. So in fact, I'm going to add even a bit more to this design, more than we need, just to make sure we don't have transparent gaps. And I think one thin tear here on the arm would be nice. So we can Alt-click on the mask again to come out of mask mode. And then let's see where we have the thin tear. And right here I think would be cool. Control-click on it. Control-Shift-I. Use my black brush. And there we've got a nice rip.